Good afternoon. I'm DAV National Legislative Director Joy Elam. And I'm Deputy National Legislative Director Shane Learn. With us is Senator Joe Manchin of West Virginia, who's a member of the Senate Veterans Affairs Committee in the 117th Congress. Today, we're honored to present Senator Manchin with DAV's 2021 Outstanding Senate Legislator of the Year Award for his exemplary leadership and bipartisanship on the Veterans Affairs Committee, as well as his willingness to tackle key veterans issues such as sexual assault, opioid addiction, and healthcare access for veterans living in rural areas. Senator Manchin, DAV greatly appreciates your legislation to address toxic exposures from burn pits and your unyielding pursuit of justice for the families of veterans whose lives were cut short. You have undoubtedly demonstrated an unflinching commitment to the men and women who serve. Well, let me just say to both of you, to Shane and to Joy, thank you very much. And I am so honored to be named the Disabled American Veterans 2021 Outstanding Senate Legislator of the Year because there are so many deserving senators and Congress people who work just as hard. You all have given so much for our great nation. It is my honor to serve on the Senate of Veterans Affairs Committee and fight to ensure our veterans receive the support and care they deserve for bravely serving our nation. As many of you know, our veterans in my home state of West Virginia have faced issues of mistrust after at least seven veterans were murdered at the Clarksburg VAMC. And there's even more investigations going on as we speak. Our veterans have endured unacceptable treatment, corroding their trust in the VA system and the care provided to them. I can't imagine what it feels like to lose a loved one who was supposed to be in the safe, capable hands of the VAMC and still not have adequate answers about the circumstances of their death. Their families deserve transparency and answers, which is why I introduced the Improving Safety and Security for Veterans Act, which was signed into law at the end of last year. This legislation requires the VA to submit detailed reports to patient safety and quality of care at VMC facilities and will ensure that Congress, veterans, and their families are fully informed on the policies and procedures in place at the VA on a national level that could have led to the deaths of these innocent veterans. It also requires the VA to submit a detailed report and timeline of events surrounding the deaths of the Clarksburg VMC after the criminal investigations are completed. And while it's mandated by law that we receive the detailed report within 30 days of the bill becoming law, we're still waiting. I'll continue to press the VA to release the report as soon as possible and to provide an explanation from the missing deadline, uh, missing the deadline to give West Virginians and Americans peace of mind that their loved ones are being properly cared for. Dennis McDonough, as you know, is our new VA secretary and we've had some great conversations on this issue, and I'm sure he's working diligently on getting me the information. My main concern continues to be monitoring the quality of care that our veterans receive at our West Virginia VMCs and the VA facilities across the nation. And I'm not gonna stop fighting to ensure, uh, until we ensure every veteran has the quality care they deserve. I wanna thank you all for your service to our nation and our people. We are forever indebted to each and every one of you for your sacrifices and your courage and let me say this, this is one committee that brings us together. There's two committees that basically bring us together as one, whether you're Democrat or Republican. That's our Armed Services Committee and our Veterans Committee. Uh, that's what we rally behind. If it wasn't for our military, it would be hard for us to agree on almost anything anymore in this toxic atmosphere. But the veterans and the service men, men and women who are serving today keep the country uh, they're the glue of the country, if you will, but they keep us together. They keep Democrats and Republicans working as one purpose to make America stronger and better and take care of those who've sacrificed so much. So I want to thank all of you, each and every one of you, and God bless you. Senator Manchin, while we wish we could have been there in person today to present the award, we do appreciate you coordinating with us for this virtual presentation and for your very thoughtful remarks. On behalf of DAV members, our leadership, and the entire legislative team, congratulations to you once again on this well-deserved award. DAV looks forward to continuing our work with you and your staff to ensure more legislative victories for veterans in the future. Thank you. Well, thank you all. Thank you so much. I appreciate it more than you know. And I am so indebted 
to every person who has served to make my life better and the freedoms I enjoy every day. And I, something I don't take for granted.